Hi Virgo, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. So let's see what is the month of Jan bringing for you Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Hi. Okay, so this is January 2023. Oh my God, 2023 is all. Oh, it's already here. <laughs> oh my God. Very, very, very happy holidays to all of you. Right? I did not post on Christmas for you. So let's dive in. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're going to pull out some cards from this deck for you. How this whole year is going to treat you, right? This is going to be your um, overall message for the year, but at the end of the re reading, right? So we are going to dive in now. Virgo, let's see what messages are coming up for you. Oh, truth be told. Some expression coming your way, Virgo. Somebody is ready to tell you how they feel. You are ready to tell somebody how, how you feel about somebody. I see this is an expression of love. There is some confession, some truth that needs to be spoken. And I see TikTok. Okay, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time that somebody is going to come in and tell you how exactly they're feeling for you. There is love. There's some confession coming in. Uh, for some of you, I'm picking up time is running by, something is in the pipeline that is not yet revealed. Wow. <laughs> so this truth is going to sweep you off your ground, Virgo. <clears throat> and it's just a matter of time. Just wait for this. You might not even see this confession happening. For a lot of you, there's somebody who is uh, definitely having a very loyal heart for you, very loyal attachment for you. But there's something which is making this person feel that, uh, uh, you know, maybe not for you. We're going to see what's that. Okay. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is my ticking time bomb card, by the way, right? So Virgo, where are you coming from? We're going to see that. And then what you can expect this month, at least in the beginning of the month, advises you need to keep in mind some miscellaneous messages. And at the end of this reading, we're going to have some couple of cards from this deck. So, you know, for the whole year, what do you need to keep in mind? Virgo. Virgo, you're keeping strong in a situation. You're coming from a place where um, you're trying to stay strong. There are some things that are making you feel a little angry. Somebody is telling, okay, this is my truth card, Ace of Swords. Somebody is saying something for a lot of you. These are messages. These are... Uh, some revelations, Knight of Swords, some things are getting revealed and you're trying to stay strong in a situation but your mind is totally fucked up. Ace of Swords is that mental conflict I'm picking up. Some truth, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, somebody has said, said something which might have triggered you on some point I'm picking up in the near, I see in the recent past. Somebody has triggered you or somebody has triggered, triggered a mental conflict I'm picking up. And now you're keeping yourself... You know, very strong that no, I don't have to <laughs> tell this, say anything to this person. You're a lion here. This is a lamb. I wonder how you're just controlling yourself to just eat this person up because I'm feeling that somebody has definitely triggered some or is triggering something, right? Okay, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position, Five of Cups in the reverse position. You are not willing to invest somewhere at the moment. You're feeling that, okay, this is this is something I don't want to do anymore, right? I don't want to sit here and regret. I don't want to put an effort into something. I don't want to work over it anymore. There's something you feel like giving up on, Virgo. You don't want to focus over something. Wow, what you don't see coming is so amazing. Ascension, Virgo. Uh, some cycle, some, some conflicting cycle of your life is getting over, right? Wheel of Fortune is showing me ascension. A, a, I, I usually see this card as luck favoring you and some things that have been causing trouble in your head, giving you mental tension or causing conflict in your surroundings. You might be uh, trying to stay very strong in this situation, but still that is, you know, repeating like a pattern. I see here with the Wheel of Fortune that now you'll be growing up. Page of Wands here <laughs> flipped out. So it actually came like this, but okay, I cannot take it as in the reverse. So Page of Wands is like some kind of excitement, new energy, new passion, new idea, new feeling is coming in. Somebody might reach out to you, right? 
and this is fun. Wheel of Fortune is showing me that you're ready to rise above some things, some things which are more or less mental construct here because nothing is actually happening on the ground. It's just pissing you off in your mental space. But Wheel of Fortune is showing me that now is the time to rise above those things. And Page of Wands, some new excitement. Like this after this card is like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to have fun. I'm ready to, you know, I'm, I'm ready to be light again. This is that holiday mood I'm picking up. Let me go out, dating, meet new people, talk to new people, right? Very interesting energy. Whoa, boom. <laughs> Somebody is telling you something and that is causing a tower moment. For a lot of you, I see a communication, a message. I see some communication coming in, right? And tower moment definitely, um, it's very mixed energy. We're going to see what's that. A very unexpected revelation is taking place. Tower with the truth be told. Wow. The fool energy tried coming out. So it's like letting everything on the universe, taking the leap of faith. We're going to clarify what this tower is because I see an unexpected change, an unexpected shift taking place very soon and uh, that's definitely going to rock the foundation. Six of Wands, Virgo, attention, a lot of attention, a lot of eyes at you. For a lot of you, this is the energy where, again, the energy of ascension, success, victory, King of Wands, this person has to say something about this person is reaching out to you and that's going to be very unexpected for you. This person has a major crush on you, Virgo. King of Wands. This person is attracted. Leo energy here. Three of Wands. Six of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay. You might be hearing from this person. And they're very attracted. This person is super passionate about you. But uh, for a lot of you, I, see, I sense some sort of dissatisfaction, waiting for something. I do pick up that... Uh, Overall, when you are in front of the public, in front of the world, in front of the people, you're trying to stay happy. This person is, I see you ignoring somebody, Virgo. This person is passionate about you in the near future, especially in the month of Jan. I see this person is around you in your affinity. And you, you, you're somehow ignoring this person. I do see you passionate about this person too. There's fire, there's chemistry between you both. But there is a reason why you're ignoring this person. And see how they're watching you. We're going to clarify, right? Somebody, for somebody, it's like a wish come true. You are like a wish come true, right? For a lot of you, I see this person is going through a mental conflict. Can be King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is coming from a place of, oh my God, a lot of negativity. Uh, this person took a leap of faith. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that this person has some history. King and Queen of Cups, this person has a, has a history. And this person took a leap of faith away and made a decision to... I think this person gave up on somebody or this person um i feel this person somehow detached from a past person they they have some history here and they have so much mental conflict going on right now virgo and i'm also getting that this person is having affection for you but i do see some unresolved past unresolved past issue for this person i see they are waiting for the right time little I, I see dissatisfaction on this person's mind though but eventually this person is deciding what's right and how things should work out justice how to be fair and i see a lot of conflict on their mind but eventually they're just pushing all the thoughts up in the air can you see that happiness satisfaction but that's coming after you turn away from this person i see you turning away from somebody i see you turning away from this person this person is super attracted to you but because of some reason, I'm picking up that you don't want to look at them. Okay, so I'm going to get a few cards clarified, not really getting into any such uh, detail. I want to know what is this Wheel of Fortune, first of all. I see ascension taking place. There have been thoughts in past that are totally fucking up your mind. But you're rising above those thoughts. Three of Cups in the reverse position. I feel Eight of Swords. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you're not happy about some changes that have happened in your life. And especially when these things that are being revealed to you or that have been revealed to you, I see you feel a little unhappy because of them. That phase of unhappiness is altogether ending, I'm picking up. If there were third parties affecting you, I see you rising above those third parties. What's the tower moment here? Death. Okay, there's a massive transformation heading your way. I see this white flower. Somebody is offering you white flower. White flower is... Uh, you know making peace energy i heard consolation for some of you i don't know if it makes sense but 
tower wow okay this is tower again like this is a moment of a thrill what should i what should i say temperance okay look at the major arcana uh so something is transforming here some massive things are definitely coming in virgo temperance tower death uh i see some some i see something is coming in there's a message coming in what is this message that's causing some kind of shake up in you virgo some kind of shake up is about to happen here communication yes i'm telling you there's some sort of communication coming in that's going to shake up everything and you might feel that way i need to step back and i need to calm myself down what the fuck is happening here uh you know why am i being uh, bombarded with all these uh, facts here you might be feeling little uncomfortable but something is definitely going to be like a shake up that i feel so you're turning you might decide to eventually turn away from this person for so yeah i told you i see you guys totally becoming calm and turning away from somebody what do you want to say king of cups i'm sorry king of wands can be a fire sign here what do you want to say Empress, this person sees growth in you. This person sees the future. Knight of Wands. But they have commitment issues. I'm picking up somebody specific is having commitment issues. And they're definitely trying to move on from these issues. Especially when they see you turning away from the situation. Four of Pentacles. Virgo, I see you becoming really, um, you know, uh, skeptical. And keeping your coins, keeping your emotions and everything very, you know, very much to yourself. Because somebody here is... There's some sort of shake-up happening here. Virgo. Let's have a few cards. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, okay? Blonde female. For a lot of you, this can be you or somebody you're dealing with. Blonde female. Long distance. You might be longing for somebody. You feel that, okay... For a lot of you, I'm picking up that you're feeling a little dissatisfied. This is my three of wands energy, by the way, turning away from something and money may be the focus. This this month, I do see you focusing on money. Anything else? I don't really feel... I, I see that you're turning away from some things and you're feeling very disillusioned. Anything else? Fair male. Okay, this person is definitely showing up here. Young female, beauty queen, wallflower, okay. Somebody is keeping options open, Virgo. You might feel that somebody has commitment issues. And you feel that something is of limited potential because... Hmm, somebody is non-settling here. I do see some truth is coming out, which is going to be like... Um, you might feel that, okay, this is, this is not right. I, I'm feeling that you're going to be a little um careful after this truth is getting revealed clover though i do see a lot of energy of success growth and uh, luck luck is eventually favoring you but i do see a lot of communication coming your way too what else lady i see growth yes lady fem feminine energy is dominating in this reading a lot of feminine energy what else ship Trying to move on from some things which have been turbulent, Six of Swords. I do see there's a troubled situation that you're finally moving on from, Virgo. And for a lot of you, I'm getting here that you're lucky. And somehow your feminine touch to a situation is going to help you sail through the situation. Home, house. I see the foundation. For a lot of you, the foundation is breaking down in this phase. Or you're coming from a phase where the foundation has been breaking down. I see now you'll be working over the foundation and a lot of stability is going to be coming in. I see the star here, which is beautiful after some sort of a shake up that has happened recently or that's happening in your life right now. I see you moving towards stability, Virgo. So it's overall a very positive energy, I must say. I wouldn't deny that. Whoa, <laughs> aim for the stars, Virgo. Star is the limit. I do see somebody's religious belief system or religious beliefs are um, causing some sort of blockage in the situation anyway <coughs> okay so what do you need to keep in mind uh, this new in this new year in this new year uh, overall what do you need to keep in mind Virgo? what do you need to keep in mind in this whole new year messages for Virgo. let's see messages for Virgo abundance work like this is amazing this is amazing 
I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Virgo, you know you're limitless. I've seen Wheel of Fortune, Clover, Abundance for you. So yes, there are some situations that you might not trust completely for time being and that's totally fine. That's totally okay. But remember, this is what is universe bringing for you this year. So open your arms to the new abundance. For a lot of you, I do pick up some troubles and little shake-up happening in the beginning of this year, especially in the month of January or even the phase that we're going through right now. But you don't need to be worried about, oh, and I just said don't worry about something. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. So if you're overthinking about something, Virgo, and you're wondering that, okay, this is going to turn negative or this is not going to be in my favor... Remember that if you overstress about something, it's not going to change your outcome. So instead of overstressing about something, it's better that you just try to be calm and manifest positive things. And if something has to happen, you just can't change the outcome, right? So wow, these are very positive energies. Stop worrying and focus on the abundance coming your way. So I'm going to leave you here, Virgo. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.